Empire has taken Voss. Our forces are waiting. <laughs> You're sovereign. You're right. Give them a fuck. Don't worry. We've got this. One second thought. Run! Commander! Palin launched her attack early. We need you now! I read you, Theron. Hold your ground and defend the city. The Alliance is on its way. All ships, fire on the Eternal Fleet. Draw their attention away from the surface. Our status report. Three minutes to landfall, Commander. Ground troops stand ready to follow you into battle. We'll touch down in the city and lead the liberation of Vos. But Valen won't make it easy for us. She's hammering the planet with the full might of the Eternal Empire. She's too eager to show off her strength. The Empress has big shoes to fill. And like her brother and father, Valen's overconfidence will be her undoing. We'll cut her down to size. Torin, what's your status? Mandalorians are ready to follow the Alliance commander into battle. I can think of no better warriors to join our fight. Wait till you see them in action. We're coming in fast. Brace yourselves. If you want to rally the troops, it's now or never. Mandalorians, warriors of the Alliance. You've served many masters, but today you serve me. Together we'll strike a blow against the Eternal Empire. Empress Valen has declared war on Voss. Your mission is simple. Hunt down her forces and wipe out every last one of them. Commander, Lana, nice of you to join the party. Theron, what's your status? I can hold the Tower of Prophecy a bit longer, but the alien enclave can really use your help. We're on our way to the bridge, Commander. It's gone. Theron, change of plans. They destroyed the Northern Plateau. Wait, what? We're coming to reinforce your position. Find us another way to reach you. Head for these coordinates. Last I heard, some boss commandos were cooking up a shortcut. In the tower! Now! Voss burns. Your friends suffer. At last, the immortal Emperor speaks. Such chaos demands my attention. In my absence, you completed your training and dethroned my son. But you also allowed my daughter to seize power. Now, witness the destructive might of the Eternal Throne. The throne is your blood-stained legacy. Under my rule, the throne was an instrument of peace. My daughter pursues more barbaric motives. If Valen remains on the throne, Voss is only a taste of the carnage to come. Valen must be stopped. Show me her weakness and we'll dethrone her together. When the time comes, I will stand by your side against Valen. Until then, beware her fury.
good shot there on. I aim to please. Next time, aim to kill. Show off. You're a sight for sore eyes. The Vos are safe inside the Tower of Prophecy, but we can't hold out much longer. Remind me to pin a medal on your chest when this is all over. Only if you watch the pin. I'm still sore from last time. I hate to interrupt this touching moment, but we've got company. Horizon Guard, Valen's Executioner Squad. Sounds like a fun bunch. Let's get you to our command post before more show up. your defeat. I knew better. I saw a vision of your arrival. Tell your people to stay inside the tower, and they'll be sheltered from Valen's attack. The mystics will stay. The commandos will join the alliance in battle. We've got a distress call coming in hot. Stand by. Senya. Hello. I trusted you, Senya. Why did you turn against me? I had to protect my son. Arkin is with me now. On Voss. Of course. Valen's only attacking the planet to burn her family out of hiding. And now she leaves me no choice. I need your help, Outlander. Arkin needs your help. If I needed help... Your son wouldn't think twice about finishing me off. Once, that was true. But he can change. I brought him here to mend his broken body. Cure him of his hatred. Then Valen found us. We don't have much time. Help me hold off my daughter's army. Once Arkin's healed, he'll join your fight. I know it. Save Arkin? Didn't see that one coming. What do you think, Theron? Apprehend and interrogate. Only way to tell if he's worth saving. Extermination is safer. The Alliance can't risk war against both of Valkorion's spawn. Senya's call originated from the Shrine of Healing. The Voss and Gormak unite there to defend our home. They will aid your fight. My shuttle can get us close, but we'll have to make the final assault on foot. Lana, gather a Mandalorian team and converge on the shrine. Theron and I will lead the charge for Arkan and Senya. We can't let Valen reach them first. I never thought I'd see Voss and Gormak fighting together. I guess all it took was a common enemy. We'll have to thank Valen. I'll send her some flowers. Why aren't you advancing on the shrine? Vindigno and the handsome chum, Visagore Kilomba. Many run for the shrine, all die. Hiding is the only choice. I'll draw their fire. When the warships strike, make a run for the shrine. I call me Pan
Sorry about the holdup, Commander. Miss me? Thanks for the rescue, Koth. I should have known you'd make a big entrance. Couldn't let the gravestone miss all the action. We've got a date with Valen's warships. Take care of yourself down there. Looks like we got a change of plans. To the Shrine of Healing! Where's Senya? I'm here. I want to trust you, Senya. Convince me to help your son. The Emperor you once fought is no more. I can sense the good in him. I wish I'd buried you with the last of your loyal knights and Lord Mantell. But then they never would have tracked you back to Arkin. Now you can die in each other's arms. You're better than this. You're always saying that. And you're always wrong. Outlander, why don't we crack open that head of yours so father can come out to play? My child makes a mockery of herself. I know the pain Valkorion must have inflicted on you, but killing him won't heal your scars. I have no scars! I'm sorry I have to miss the family reunion, but I've sent you all a gift. I'll see you soon, Mother. Please, Outlander. If Arkin isn't healed, he'll turn against us all. You need to trust me. Go to your son, Sanya. Ensure that he's healed. And I'll hold off Valen's forces as long as I can. You won't regret this. Mana, take your Mandalorians and protect the shrine. Senya's counting on us. She's alive, barely. I held them off for as long as I could. What happened? A sacrifice. The mother's life essence to heal her son. I know Senya. She wouldn't do this unless she truly knew Arkan could be redeemed. If Arkan's so good, why did he leave his mother behind? The wounded son fled. Delirious, confused. He thinks his mother perished. I'll tend to Senya. Let's go. We must stop Arkan. Call coming in from the Sith fleet. It's... Empress Asina. Greetings, Commander. It is an honor to finally speak to you. I'm grateful you showed up when you did. You saved a lot of lives. I hope this is only the beginning of what we can do for you. The Sith are tired of being crushed under the Eternal Empire's boot. We wish to join your cause. You won't bow to Valen, but you'll bow to me. I'm proposing an alliance of two independent powers against a common foe. The Empire, I remember, doesn't keep allies for long. That Empire is dead. We have learned to evolve. While you were frozen in carbonite, many things changed. Come to Dromancas. 
and see for yourself. Sure, we'll head right over. That doesn't sound like a trap at all. What would I gain by betraying you? Your followers would turn against us, and we would have even more enemies out for vengeance. The Empress did put herself at risk by helping us here. Valen isn't likely to forgive that. You make a compelling offer, Empress. Let's discuss this in person. I will look forward to your arrival. I guess he couldn't hurt to visit. We've got intel, but I can learn a lot more if we're there in person. Don't make me worry about you. Maybe I like the thought of you worrying. I'm curious to see if things really have changed since I left. Whatever we find, this trip will be interesting. yourself among them. You're beyond that. This is the empty husk I left behind. But the Sith could still be a useful tool to help you seize the eternal throne. Honored guests, welcome to Dromund Kass. Moff Lorman. It's Minister Lorman now. Really? I figured your career was over after you lost the Ascendant Spear. This story sounds too good to pass up. Back in my SIS days, I may have blown up a prototype Sith warship. Lorman was the deputy commander. It's Minister Lorman, and the past is irrelevant. I serve Empress Asina now. She awaits us in the throne room. are strange times. Once we would have been on the same side. Now we negotiate as strangers. I didn't expect to be on Drum and Cass again. I can imagine. Much has changed for the better since you were last here. I urge you not to be so critical, Empress. The Sith Empire has always been glorious. I would like to continue this conversation on my personal shuttle. Just the two of us, speaking freely. It may not be wise to split up. I can handle myself if she tries anything. Will you two be okay if I leave you with Lorman? It's Minister Lorman! Minister Lorman! Is that so hard to remember? Don't worry about us, Commander. Just about into the main network. Someone's coming. Forgive the intrusion, but I come bearing tragic news. The Empress's shuttle has crashed. Crashed where? Somewhere in the jungle. Unfortunately, the emergency locator is not transmitting. That's... Uh, that's impossible. Not if the shuttle disintegrated. I'm afraid there's only one logical conclusion. The Empress and Commander are dead. Storm's not letting up anytime soon. I say we grab a shuttle and head out now. The interference will disable comms and scanners. 
Not to mention the risk of an electrical surge frying our circuits. Sean, I just heard the news. Let me express my sincere condolences. SIS reporting has gone downhill since I left. The commander is missing, not dead. Don't let foolish hope blind you. You are leaderless, as are the Sith. Someone must step in to fill the void. Forgive me, but aren't you the former Republic Chancellor? You've already served your term. True leaders don't need titles to hold power. I want what your leader wanted, to defeat Valen. Join me, and we can finish what she started. Pass. I've had more than my fill of working with you. You're still grieving. Eventually, you'll realize I'm right. Storm be damned. The time for patience has passed. Let's find the commander. Hey, one. Now's not a good time. This can't wait. Suresh just sent a message. She's heading here to Odessa. Seems she didn't wait for us to change our minds after all. Send her pack in the second she lands. Some of the troops want to hear her out. They aren't sure the Alliance can last. There are rumors about the Commander. Remind them where their loyalties lie. Stall Suresh. We're on our way. Mr. Lawman warned us you might sneak off. Taken your friends hostage. Anything happens to me and they're dead. This is Minister Lawman. Let me speak to the prisoners. Oh, hello, Lawman. This is who you sent to capture us? I'm a little offended. both safe. You gave us quite a scare. It's good to hear your voice. You need to stop doing this to me. You were worried about me. I, uh... Let's focus on the Chancellor. Suresh wants the Alliance, Commander. She's on Odessa as we speak. Hold tight. I'm on my way. As many of you have already heard, your commander is dead. There are dark times ahead. But fear not. I have come to offer you a beacon. needs a leader like me. I saw an opportunity and I took it. I won't apologize for that. We are well beyond apologies. What do we do with her? 
Execution, I expect. It's what Valen would do. It's what I would do. That's the difference between us. You get to live. Though you'll be in an Alliance prison for a long, long time. Take her away. You have no idea how happy I am. Empress Asina is waiting for your call, Commander. We'll meet you in the war room. I apologize for everything on Droman Cuts, but I still believe we should unite your people with mine. You've proven yourself, Asina. I accept your offer. That doesn't mean you're home free. We're watching you. Knowing Theron, not even your Holonet activity is safe. Remind me to change my access codes. I look forward to working with you. the gravestone cost doesn't call for help unless he got lonely he's in trouble answer the call I'm trying but the signals jammed big time on the other end hold on got it made it made it is anybody there we read you cough what happened Valen and Scorpio tripped their way on board they've taken the bridge and my crew I'll scramble the fleet. Find a place to hide until we're there. I've got some tricks up my sleeve, but we don't have long. Lost him, but I have the coordinates. I'm getting a signal from Theron. The Eternal Fleet jumped to hyperspace. It's just our ships out here. I've got reinforcements with me in the docking bay. Orders? Secure the bridge and don't take any chances. Alert me if you find Scorpio or Valen. Side of Scorpio or Valen. They can't leave the ship while it's in hyperspace. If they want to re steal the gravestone, they'll have to come here. Wonderful. I'll make punch. The hyperdrive is locked. We're on this journey to the bitter end. Which is now. Sublight engines cutting in. Company! Lots of it! It's the whole Eternal Fleet! Malin and Scorpio's transport! It's getting away! Stay calm. Scan the enemy ships. Are any preparing to attack? They haven't even raised shields. The transport is hailing us. Commander, I have made a wonderful discovery. The Gemini units, the eternal fleet of the Gravestone, they did not steal my technology. We are related. The Gravestone's computer revealed we were all created here, and you have aided our journey home. I promise to remember you kindly. If all this technology came from the same place, it changes everything we know about Sakul. Perhaps. But that is not your main concern right now. Valen and her remaining soldiers are sabotaging everything they can. You may wish to stop them. 
I'm seeing power surges all over. Shields, life support. The Omni Cannon. Well, whatever it is worth, I hope you survive. Koth, help me fix the Omni Cannon. The rest of you save the ship. They came by choice any more than we did. Something dumped us together for a reason. Some kind of test? You don't write, you don't hollow. Was it something I said? Definitely not. My comm's been offline. How'd you get a signal? Dynlock and smart tech. Are you having the same creepy day I am? Knocked out by a bright light on the gravestone, woke up alone in this weird planet? I hate it when we take separate vacations. A holocaust's never enough. No, it sure isn't. Let's fix that. I found a uh, museum, temple, whatever. It's secure. I'll send you the coordinates. The best news I've heard all day. Find the others and tell them where to meet us. Already on it. You and Torian be safe out there. Valen was on the gravestone with us. If we're here, so is she. Too careful in this neighborhood. The others are here, safe and sound. Sorry you were on your own for so long. I got here as fast as I could. People keep trying to break us up. We never learn. I'm scanning for our ship, but so far nothing. The gravestone could be anywhere. If this is our base of operations, we need to know it's absolutely safe. What have you learned? It feels like some kind of monument. To what, I don't know, but we're the only ones here. We need to secure this entrance. I can help with that. Vet's in the main room, poking at one of those monuments. She's onto something that could help. Remember when I said this place was safe? I might be wrong. Things keep coming, but at least we're safe in here. That'll buy us some time, but those droids will find another way in. We need an escape route. Oh. I was trying to get Ares back online when the door opened. We've got no clue what's in there. Might be Killer Droid Central. 
If it's an escape route, there's only one way to be sure. Vet, you're with me. The rest of you, hold this position. These days, you're gonna give me a heart attack. We heard explosions, the tunnel collapsed. What happened? Ares wants us dead. Scorpio wants him destroyed. Valen's chasing her fleet. We need out of here, and going underground didn't work. Okay. What if we go up? There's a landing pad on the rooftop, but we have no gravestone to land on it. The gravestone isn't the only Alliance vessel here. My shuttle's in its hangar. That's no help. Can't find either one of them. But I haven't been scanning for my shuttle. If I can establish a connection to it, I might be able to take command remotely. You've piloted the shuttle through your implants and landed on the roof. That's brilliant, Theron. If it works. Even if Theron can bring his ship, we'll never get aboard. Those droids will cut us down the moment we step outside. That droid is mostly intact. It's well armed and one of them. They'd never suspect until it was too late. This is why you're the commander. We send the droid to attack while we hit the roof. It could work. Sold. I'll start scanning for the shuttle. Fingers crossed. Contact. I found my shuttle. Running a pre-flight check. We're in business. Signal's weak, though. I need to be on the roof to boost the connection. We're ready. The logic circuits are fried. Somebody will have to control this thing from the inside. Handle the droids. Protect Theron. Don't forget about the rocket boost. See you up top. what I call an escape. We're not alone. Sensors detect another vessel. Scorpios. Is it following us? It's leaving. Before you go any farther, observe. What was that? 
There's a massive energy shield surrounding Iokath. Nothing can pass through it. Ares controls the shield. He's the key to shutting it down. We have to find him. He found us. Your struggles provide invaluable design feedback, but they do not change my decision. You are not worthy of inheriting Iokath. Soon, you will die. You keep promising that, but we're still here. Think about giving up. It's not too late. Your perception of time is distorted. My creators were flawed beings, but they left a great legacy at my disposal. The weapon I've used to incapacitate you is re-energizing. The energy wave that knocked us unconscious. We have no defense against it. When it fires this time, you will not wake up. You abduct scores of people, then kill us for failing your test. You're a monster, Ares. I am a caretaker. This world's technology must not fall into the hands of barbaric beings. If you have any affection for your remaining companions, I recommend using these final... I have identified a design flaw in Ares. He talks too much and has revealed his location. We no longer require his input. She's transmitting coordinates. You will find Ares there, along with his weapon and the energy shield controls. Stopping Ares is our top priority. Set a course, Theron. I enjoy our collaborations. She's the reason we're in this mess, and she's playing us. We're gonna melt her down before we leave, right? I'll make certain she never interferes with my plans again. That's all I ask. Saren. The Alliance can't lose the Gravestone. But I can't lose you. Overload weapon capacitors. Fire at will. Acknowledged. It's time to go. Bring the ship around. Just picked up four new bogies. We're coming in hot. Sorry we're late. You're gonna want to time this just right. got bad news. Six Alliance patrols, four outposts, one supply convoy from the Sith Empire. All destroyed by the Eternal Fleet in the last hour. There can only be one reason. Valens regained control of the Gemini droids. Then we take the fight to Valen, remove her from power before she tears the galaxy apart. We can't simply launch an attack on the heart of the Empire. I found someone who can help. An inside man on Zakul. I saw the fleet hull of it. Ghastly business. 
I apologize on behalf of my people. And you are? Indo's arm, magistrate of revelry and attendant to Empress Vale. She's a plague on the good people of Zakul. But if we work together, we can remove her from power and end this blasted war. Double-crossing Valen is no small risk. We'll make sure you're protected. Esne's eyes. You're as noble as they say. Have we confirmed this isn't a trap? Don't worry. Endo's clean. But eager to get my hands dirty. Valen is throwing a party on Zakul to celebrate her glory. The guest list is exclusive. But I'll secure invitations, disguises, everything you need to infiltrate the party and overthrow the Empress. That party will be full of civilians. I won't risk catching them in the crossfire. If all goes according to plan, you'll have nothing to worry about. Even if we avoid detection, we'd need an army to penetrate her defenses. And an army you'll have. During the party, Valen plans to execute my dear friends, a host of Zakulin rebels. Save the rebels, and they will help dethrone the Empress. <laughs> An enemy of Valen is a friend of mine. I'll do whatever I can to ensure their safety. I knew I was right to cast my lot with you. This could work. T7 and I can slice into the security grid. And I'll help you get close enough to trigger Valen's conditioning. How exciting! I take it Operation Dragon's Maw is a go. Welcome to the Alliance, Indo. That gave me tingles. I'll make preparations straight away. Let's free an empire. Everyone gear up. In one hour, we infiltrate the cool and crash Phelan's party. Take the throne. How long before you call for my destruction? If I wanted you destroyed, I would have done it long ago. My fate is tied to yours. We're approved for landing. And don't really pull through with our disguises. Let's suit up before we make landfall. Disguise. How do we look? Hold still. I'm taking a mental image of you in that armor. Well, don't get used to it. It's already starting to chafe. Let's find it, though. Plugged into spa security, ready to assist. My favorite knights. Welcome to the grand festival of Empress Valen. We must be careful. The Hullinet drones are broadcasting this party for all the galaxy to see. We could use this to our advantage. The more viewers we have, the more support the Alliance gains. Interplanetary celebrity status is great for funding. But first, 
we must free the rebels. Removing those shock collars won't be easy. You have any tricks up your sleeve? That I do. Party favors? Ion charges to attach to the security relays. Trigger them during Valen's big speech. The blast will disable the collars, leaving my compatriots free to join your attack. Tell the rebels to keep away from the Horizon Guards. I'll handle the elite forces myself. Right. Avoid the scary ones with lightsabers. I'll keep the party going while you set the charges. But once the task is done, we'll show the Empress what we're made of. who betrayed me. They deserve an eternity of torment. And no one, not even the Outlander, can save them. The Alliance never abandons its own. <laughs> Indo's puppet master. Or is father controlling you both? You're the only one under Valkorian's spell. Does the public know about your conditioning? Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. your people. And this ends without bloodshed. Oh no, we can't skip the fun part. Commander, look out!
Kraken. If he plans to join us, now is the perfect time. Then we better get moving. you without the mask. The new look suits you. It marks a new beginning. Even if he's changed, can we really trust him? He hasn't exactly proven himself. I stand corrected. challenge us. We'll meet her. Together. Let's show the Empress who she's dealing with. I stand with you, Outlander. My father was right to recognize your strength. But are you in control? Or does he pull the strings? Valkorion may have forced his way into my head, but my choices are my own. That resolve may be what Zakul needs. You would stand aside as an outsider seizes your throne? Father, you've grown weak. My hands are stained with the blood of millions. This family's legacy is dripping with it. It's time a worthy Empress takes our place. It's not too late, Arkan. You can still redeem yourself. I'm beyond redemption. I can't change the past, but I can atone for it. Your destiny is to lead Zakul. And mine is to join the Alliance. I did not raise my son to serve. You have no son. The galaxy is watching, Commander. Now's your chance to make an impact. So cool. I come to you not as a conqueror, but as an ally. Together we can end this war and bring peace to the galaxy. The Alliance welcomes all who want to stand and fight for freedom. Today, we're proud to count your former Emperor among us. My strength is yours, Commander. you, buddy. Save the greetings. Let's get out of here alive.
Mission accomplished. Sort of. Valen survived, but she's hated by half of Zakul. And Endo escaped with the rebels. They even gained a few recruits from the civilians they rescued. More importantly, the former Emperor now works for us. I sensed a change in him. But are we sure we can trust the man who tried to kill you multiple times? Don't forget freezing you in carbonite for five years. Save my mother. And for that, I'm in your debt. Senya believed in your ability to change. And she was right. She was right about you as well. I finally see it. But your work is not complete. My sister's reign of destruction is far from over. As long as I hold the key to her conditioning, Valen is muzzled. She won't allow this for long. Like any cornered predator. Still no word on where Valen's disappeared to. Any chance she decided to give up on Galactic Conquest and retire to a quiet little colony on the Outer Rim? That is not my sister's style. I might know where she's gone. A planet called Nathema. I never thought to hear the name of that accursed world again. You've been there? Once, and to have Alcorian locked my sister away when she was a child. It's in the Corlean sector. Hang on. Someone sent an encrypted holocall to Valen during her little party. We traced the origin to that sector. The message was important enough for Valen to drop everything and go. Nathema is a tainted world. If I go there, I fall back into my old ways. Everything I have accomplished since being healed on Voss will be undone. I believe you're strong enough to do this, but I won't force you to go. Thank you. I will stay and watch over Senya in case she wakes. I'll go prep the shuttle. Scans detect only one structure emitting signs of life. This world is unnatural. Like the Force is hollow. I felt it too. The Force flows through every living thing, Theron. Even you. The Emperor corrupted the Force on Zyost and drove everyone mad with bloodlust. But here, I barely sense the Force at all. The effects will be stronger on the surface. The absence of the Force could drive us mad. My power is limited here, but I will do what I can to shield you and your companions from the worst effects of the void. Taking us down. I'll keep an eye on the shuttle. Call if you need it. The whole place is about to blow. I'll pick you up outside.
Alliance. Now, she will be stronger than ever. The Alliance won't rest until she's removed from the throne. I hope you get that chance. Did you discover anything significant inside my vault? Something in particular you're worried about? The artifacts hidden there are more dangerous than you can imagine. If you used them, it would be at your own peril. Valence long gone. What happened down there? The Empress broke free from her conditioning. Now she's more dangerous than ever. Then we must act quickly. What is our next move, Commander? We can figure out a strategy once we're back on Odessan. Wouldn't mind a bit of R&R &R first. Or at least a nice long nap in my own bed. Setting a course for... Huh. Call coming in. Commander, do you copy? Odessan is under attack. and her entire fleet. Where's the Greystone? Odessan, I need a status report now. Valen caught us in dry dock. Just installed the last of those new upgrades. Need a few minutes to recalibrate our systems. Ground forces are holding the line until the Gravestone's up. But we're outnumbered and outgunned. All tight, Bay One. Help is on the way. You and Lana can lead the charge. I'll do more damage if I slip behind enemy lines. the enemy flank, joined up with Sana Ray. But we could use a little more firepower. Lana help Theron. I'm heading to the front lines. Valen needs to know exactly where to find me. You won't have to face her alone. Arkin and I will join you. I'm honored to have you fighting at my side. The honor is ours, Commander. You've given us a chance to atone for our family's crimes. We won't waste it. My daughter must be stopped at any cost. I still can't believe Torian's gone. He sacrificed himself so our cause could live on. We will honor his memory, along with everyone who fell defending Odessa. We need to talk about my sister's death. I felt something when you struck her down, like her life force flowed into you. I've consumed many spirits over the years. This felt no different. Maybe you're right. Unlike my father, Balin didn't have the power to transfer her spirit from host to host. It's possible you simply absorbed her strength while her spirit was obliterated. I hope that's all it was. Are you saying Valen's not really dead? Or do you think Valkorion is up to something? I don't know. Something strange happened. And we both know my father can't be trusted. Be careful. Commander, urgent distress call coming in from Empress Asina. Drummond class is under attack. The Eternal Fleet is bombing us from orbit. We won't abandon an ally. I'm sending our fleet, Empress, with the Gravestone at its head. It's not just the Sith who are under attack, Commander. I'm picking up urgent distress signals from Coruscant and the other core worlds. We know Valen didn't order this. The Gemini captains must have gone rogue. There's more. Emergency calls coming in from Zakul. The Eternal Fleet set up a blockade. They're bombing them into oblivion. I won't sit by while the Eternal Fleet wipes out billions of lives. You cannot solve this with your armies and fleet. The Eternal Throne sits empty, leaderless. The fleet has reverted to its most primal function, extermination. Unchecked, they will destroy all life in the galaxy. There is only one way to stop them. Claim the Eternal Throne and seize your destiny. 
ready the gravestone. We're going to Zakul. What's wrong? I had enough. She's gone now. Whatever he put. I've been studying the relics function. Do you actually believe that duck? Keep playing. I have no... Seek the... I... I felt... I once hosted a menagerie of spirits in my head. Valkorion is similar, if more vocal. Your mental defenses are truly impressive. Men into the bridge. Your crew's ready. It's time. <laughs> At last, the time has come to take the eternal throne. Empress Valen has fallen. In her absence, the Eternal Fleet rampages across known space, threatening to wipe out all life in the galaxy. There's only one way to stop them. We must seize the throne. The problem is, those warships are blockading Zakul and bombing the city to rubble. The fleet will stop at nothing to protect the throne. No ship can break their blockade, not even to flee for safety. This ship's fortified with upgrades from Iacath. If any vessel can punch through, we can. If I reroute our power to shields, we might crack that blockade. Then it's settled. When do we reach Zakul? Now! sitting on that throne.
We must now look forward beyond our homes to the stars that surround us. This will be our new frontier as we work together to rebuild the galaxy. By trusting in each other, we begin a new era in galactic history. The age of the Eternal Alliance. You're missing the party. Funny, I thought you passed out on the dance floor. I got a second win. Let me guess, you saw the intelligence reports. The Republic's preparing for war. And the Sith Empire's not far behind. So much for our friendly pact with Asina. The Eternal Alliance is only hours old, but already I sense dark forces massing against us. Uprisings sparking across the galaxy. We will defeat them. Tomorrow. Tonight, we celebrate. The Eternal Alliance is stronger than ever, Commander. More worlds sign up every day. Name any planet Valen terrorized, and we're helping them recover. Uh, speaking of which, Zakul contacted us again. They're asking for more aid. Zakul suffered as much as anyone. Make sure they get everything they need. Done and done. You're holding out on me, Theron. What's the status of our mission to Iacath? I was saving the best for last. Lana should be closing in on the superweapon right about now. Come in, Lana. How's the radiation sickness treating you? It's nothing I can't handle. Isn't that right, C6? You heard the droid? Mm -hmm. Lana equals full of herself. Focus on the mission. Have you found the super weapon, Lana? According to the intel we received, it should be just up ahead. Stand by. Target located. Commencing scan. Power levels are off the charts and rising by the second. Incredible. Contact! Lana, what's happening? I've got company. What's the Republic doing here? The Sith Empire? They must be after the superweapon. Get Lana back online. Hurry! Working on it! 
Don't worry, I lost them. Lost who? The Sith Empire and the Republic. They're on Iacath, and they appear to be fighting for control of the superweapon. Iacath is massive. There's no way we all happen to find the superweapon at the exact same time. Agreed. The timing is just too perfect. So it's fate, chance, or plain old bad luck. Either way, we've got a superweapon to deal with. According to my scans, it's more powerful than anything we've ever encountered. More powerful than the Eternal Throne? Quite possibly. If the Republic or Empire claim it, they would usurp the Eternal Alliance as the dominant power in the galaxy. The fallout would be catastrophic. Then we have no choice. We can't let this weapon fall into the wrong hands. How should we proceed, Commander? We'll meet you on Iacath, Lona. Head for the Fleet Spire and start clearing a landing zone. Understood. I'll see you soon. Ships of the Eternal Fleet. Stop all supply runs to Imperial and Republic worlds and join me on Iacath. We have a war to win. as dangerous as ever something's wrong the imperial and republic fleets aren't attacking each other no 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 something is scrambling our weapon systems it's coming from the planet's surface near the super weapon the eternal fleet's offline commander they can't help us. Scorpio's rattling around somewhere in Iacath's mainframe. Either she's to blame, or she can help. As mission sent, let's hope she hears us. And that she's not holding any grudges. In the meantime, we'd better join the battle. If there's any way to help our fleet, we'll find it on Iacath. Commander, welcome back to Iacath. I'm glad you're safe. What's the latest? The war's heating up with every passing minute. You didn't tell us you had company. Our trigger happy friend sent these assassins, so I took them captive. I told you I'm no assassin. I've come to deliver a message from the Republic. And you are? Captain Ilara Dawn of the Republic. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. Careful, Commander. You'll slip on the fawning Captain Slobber. Who are you? Major Quinn. Advisors of the Empress and loyal servant of the Sith Empire. Like Captain Dawn, I come bearing a message. Supreme Commander Malcolm wants a word with you. In private. Empress Asina requests the same. But unlike Malcolm, she's open to a group conference. Get your leaders on the line. Both of them. It's about time we sort out this mess. Right away. Thank you for extending the Empire this honor, Commander. The Republic's glad to see you. And my son, on Iogath. Keep me out of this, Malcolm. Enough! Supreme Commander Malcolm. Empress Asina. Your armies have started a war over a superweapon of immeasurable power. 
Why would you risk everything over a single weapon? I take full responsibility for the Republic's actions, but I won't apologize. This ought to be rich. It's no secret the Eternal Empire nearly wiped out the Republic. We're struggling to rebuild and protect ourselves. The superweapon on Iocath is the key to the Republic's survival. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna watch it fall into the Empire's treacherous hands. I didn't come here to be insulted. Choose your next words carefully, Malcolm. I know you've spilled your share of Republic blood, but that's in the past. Join forces with the Republic. Help us defeat the Empire, and we'll share access to the superweapon, and all of Iocath. Malcolm's your father, Theron. What do you make of his offer? He's right about the Republic. Vela nearly broke them. They need this. The Empire suffered too. We alone supported your battle against Valen, and we paid for it dearly. Now the Republic wants to deliver the killing blow. You once sat beside me on the Dark Council. Now you can return to your roots. Help us crush the Republic threat. Once they fall, our empires can both partake in the spoils of Iokath. You've worked with the Empire more recently. What do you make of Asina's offer? We've already allied with the Empire. If we turn against them now, what message does that send to the rest of our followers? It tells them we don't honor agreements with traitors. Don't forget, she trespassed on Iokath without your permission. A small transgression. If I had to choose, I would join forces with the Empire. The Republic's a safer bet. The choice is yours, Commander. Who shall we side with? We will ally with the Sith Empire. A wise choice. Sith never listen to reason. Dorn, do it! For the Republic! She got away. We'll deal with her later. Commander, the Republic has launched their attack. Fight back with everything you've got. We're on our way. Lana, Major Quinn, defend the fleet spy while we hold off the Republic. May the Force serve us all. <laughs> It's been far too long since I've spilled Republic blood. I haven't had this much fun since our time on Droman Cass. And once again we stand triumphant against our foes. We have secured our base and sent the Republic troops whimpering back to their master. Malcolm's weakened. If we hit him now, he won't have time to recover. Decisive and ruthless. Lovely. If I know the Supreme Commander, he's already plotting the Republic's next move. Strike teams Orek and Greg suffered heavy losses. The survivors await your orders. Oh, Asina must be loving this, but her victory belongs to her ally. You compiled a report on the Alliance Commander. What's your recommendation? She's a hardened veteran with extensive personnel and resources. Even with our numbers, I doubt our chances in a head-to-head -head battle. Asymmetrical tactics would be best. A surprise attack. Surgical and precise. Then we'd better shock the Alliance Commander. Gather your top engineers and rally the troops. I'm coming to Iocath. What are we looking at? The Republic has erected a formidable base. Their defenses are impressive but they lack the supplies needed for a long campaign. If we lay siege to Malcolm's base, we can suffocate the Republic offensive and win the war. You know your father better than any of us. How do we break him? Malcolm and I aren't close, but he's not hard to read. He thinks like a soldier, measures his life in ground lost and battles won. Every loss is an opportunity. He's going to prey on our overconfidence and then spring his trap right when we let our guard down. If I were Malcolm, I'd stage the ambush the second we enter his base. We'd be trapped inside, running blind, and locked in the Republic's sights. What's stopping us from making a run on the superweapon? Several thousand Republic troops. 
They'd corner us before we gained access. If we want that super weapon, we have to take the base down first. Indulge me for a moment. My scouts recently found a weapons factory. It's guarded by a host of Iacath droids and filled to the brim with dangerous toys. What do you say we plunder the factory, then use what we find to annihilate Malcolm's base? Will Iacath's weaponry be enough to break your father's offenses? Malcolm won't see it coming. Which means, it's the best shot we have. Coordinate with Lana, and get ready to attack the base. Theron and I will take the weapons factory. Cath's original creators. Looks like it's been dead for centuries. Well, let's hope it stays that way. Rah! Ah! Whatever happens here, it was all worth it just to see the look on your face. Very funny. Now, unless you've got another joke up your sleeve, I'm going to get to work. All right, buddy. Let's see what you know about these weapons. Iocath's even more impressive in person. Its technologies will defend the Republic soon enough. We've nearly finished construction, but the schematics are missing key pieces of data. Time is short, Captain. Find a workaround. Right away, sir. We can't fail now. The fate of the Republic rests on our shoulders. I'd say that's enough firepower to get Malcolm a run for his money. Download every last file. We need to know how to use these weapons, and how to build more of them. Give me one minute. That's odd. Some of these files have already been decrypted and translated into basic. We might have Scorpio to thank. If she's listening, I wouldn't mind the temperature getting bumped up a few degrees. Nope. Well, well, can't blame a guy for trying. Huh. This place used to be the super weapons control room. Looks like our crispy friend here was the last one to use it. Over a millennia ago. Search the records for any signs of what wiped them out. Looks like Iocath's creators were fighting a civil war. One side built the weapon, but something went wrong. The super weapon's more dangerous than we thought. It wiped out all life on this planet. What kind of weapon wipes out an entire species and leaves the droids to tend house? Maybe a bioweapon, sentient programming? I'm not sure. Only one thing's for certain. According to this data, it was tested on four different planets before Iocath. All successful. Over 10 trillion lives gone. This isn't a weapon. It's the apocalypse. A weapon that powerful can't be trusted with anyone. Not even the Eternal Alliance. We need to find and dismantle it piece by piece. The sooner the better. There. Downloaded arsenal blueprints, fusion matrices, everything our army needs to gear up with the latest and greatest Iocath weaponry. Now, let's get out of here before... that happens. Commander, we need to talk. Time's short, Lana. What's on your mind? You said it yourself. How did the Empire, the Republic, and the Eternal Alliance all find the superweapon within minutes of each other? The timing's too perfect. It can't be a coincidence. Exactly. We were acting on intel from an anonymous source. And it turns out so was the Empire. What's your point? 
I cross-referenced both sets of data, and they're identical. I'm confident the Republic received the same intel. Whoever tipped us off wanted everyone to clash over the superweapon. They wanted to start a galactic war. Who benefits from starting a war? Could it be Malcolm? Or Asina? We can't rule anyone out. The Shroud would normally be a suspect, but we've already cracked that mystery. And then there's Darth Jadis, or a rogue agent inside the Republic SIS. Let's not rule out Sith intelligence. The point is, there are too many suspects to count. Find me a name. I'm on it, Commander. Welcome back, Commander. Meet the Crimson Talon. A joint Imperial Alliance production. Outfitted with Ayakath weaponry and ready for you to pilot in battle. If I'd known we were exchanging gifts, I wouldn't have shown up empty-handed. Bring me Malcolm's head and we'll call it even. Incoming call. Supreme Commander Malcolm. Have you called to surrender? Not quite. Consider this a friendly warning. My engineers have discovered a back door into the superweapon. Once they've gained access, we will turn the weapon against you and win this war for the Republic. An attack against me is an attack against Theron. Would you really sacrifice your son? I had a son, once. He dedicated his life to defending the Republic. I dedicated my life to the fight for peace. And when you bowed to the Eternal Empire, I decided to fight back. That's why I joined the Alliance. And your idealistic war nearly destroyed the Republic. Goodbye, Agent Sean. Damn it, Malcolm. He's afraid of you, Theron. Malcolm doesn't see the strength I know you have. Thanks, but I don't need a pep talk. The walker is yours, Commander. Lead our charge. Crush the Republic. Where's Malcolm? Right here. Last chance. Surrender, or I activate the superweapon. No deal. Theron, you wouldn't. Don't kill him over me. I couldn't live with myself. And I couldn't live if I lost you. You've chosen this tyrant over me? Over the Republic? Yes, I have. Don't do it, Malcolm! Bathed in light, forged by the molten gods. Malcolm! The superweapon is glorious, and it belongs to the Republic. That weapon killed an entire species for trying to harness its power. If you think you're in control, think again. You're blind to the truth. No! The gates are closing! Sir, your connection to the throne is breaking down. Superweapon controls are failing. No, I can still see it. I know what I must do. They're coming. Father! It's too late, Theron. We can't give up now.
And I couldn't save you. I know it hurts, but we'll get through this. I promise. Thanks. I mean it. <laughs> Malcolm's power flux knocked out the super weapon's defenses. Killed the signal that put our ships in lockdown. The Eternal Fleet's back online. It's about time. Commander, I'm detecting massive power spikes at the superweapon facility. Let me guess. That's bad. More like catastrophic. The weapon core is charging and no one's at the controls. If you don't deactivate it soon, it may obliterate the entire planet. Don't worry, Lala. We'll handle the superweapon. They'll never reach it in time. Hold on. With the shields down, I can remotely slice into the mainframe from here. Maybe buy you enough time to manually kill the weapon at the source. Do whatever it takes. In the meantime, tell our forces to take shelter. And Theron, I love you. I love you too. Now go on. Save us all from a fiery death. We're counting on you. Eternal Fleet, move into position and charge all forward batteries. It's time to knock out a super weapon. Theron, I've reached the super weapon facility. How do I shut it down? You need to interface with the main controls. Look for a throne, take a seat, and hope for the best. I've seen two thrones on Iacath, and both were occupied by dead bodies. I don't want to be the third. My father cut corners, but you'll be sitting on the real deal. Let's hope that's good enough. You're safe. I found the super weapon. It was a giant droid. I know. You've been talking in your sleep. Your dreams are almost as bad as mine. Whatever that droid is, you knocked it out of commission with the Eternal Fleet. Now it's recharging and gearing up for a counterattack. Which is why we must strike soon. Hesitate too long, and the Titan may destroy us all. The droid was obsessed with rage. If we're going to destroy it, we may need to keep it calm. Or push it over the edge. That's good to know. We need every advantage we can get. Too bad the droid's the least of our worries. Someone sabotaged the throne while you were plugged in. Any chance you saw them? No. But the droid said it was the same person who lured us to Iacath. Someone close to me. The conspiracy cuts deeper than we imagined. Sounds like an inside job, all right. Only a handful of people could get close enough to sabotage the throne. Who could have done such a thing? Asina's an expert strategist. If she took me down, the galaxy would be as good as hers. I always thought she had a case of throne envy. Why stop with Asina? If we're tallying suspects, we have to consider Aiko, Vizsla, Satil, and the entire Alliance army. Not to mention Lana. And hell, even me. Whoever it is, I want them rooted out. Quickly. There's only one solution. You must monitor everyone. Hold on, Minister of Paranoia. You can't invade everyone's privacy to sniff out a single rat. I can't. But the Commander can. Give the order and I'll begin surveillance of everyone. Even Theron and myself. It's the only way to flush out the traitor. I won't let one traitor turn me against my followers. They've earned my trust. I'm glad someone hasn't lost their mind. Trust is a risk, now more than ever.
Excellent. You're awake and looking stronger than ever, I see. Are you ready to return to the battlefield? Their supreme commander's dead. Is the Republic still refusing to surrender? They always were a stubborn lot. Without Malcolm, the Republic forces are in total chaos. They're more desperate than ever for control of Iacath. They're still desperate to claim the superweapon. If we take it first, they'll have no choice but to surrender. We will take it, but we can't stop there. We must rain destruction on the Republic, day and night, until we soak Iacath with their blood. Only then will we emerge triumphant. Good luck on the battlefield, Commander. Victory will be ours. We'll track her movements, see what she's hiding. I'll promise you right now, whoever this traitor is, we will find them. And we'll make them pay. I know you will. While you start searching, I'm going to win the war they started. For the Eternal Alliance. May the Force serve us all.